located in the province of Negros Oriental. Our venue as we present to you the 2012 Philippine Collegiate Champions League Visayas Islands Championship featuring the West Negros University Mustangs and the University of Iloilo Wildcats. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon sa Studio 23. Ito po ay handog sa inyo ng ABS-CBN Sports. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas. And breaking the game down with me will be Marco Benitez. It should be an exciting championship match between these two teams. Well, good evening to everybody from the beautiful city of Dumaguete and it's great to be here and we're going to be bringing you arguably two of the best teams that we've seen here so far, the Wildcats and the Mustangs of West Negros and it's going to be a very exciting ball game to be sure. Alright, let's talk about how these two teams arrived at this point, Marco, as we take a look at the championship bracket right here. West Negros University defeated the Western Leyte College uh, Mustang is also of the same name, 75-67 to 67 last October 15 to barge into the finals while the University of Iloilo Wildcats beat the Bohol Institute of Technology Beavers 85-69 to 69 to earn the right to face the Mustang in the championship for the Visayas Islands Championship Series. In last year's championship, the champions were the AMA Computer College so we will have a new champion this year representing the Visayas region. Let's talk about the team wearing white and black West Negros University, the school that produced the likes of UP's Raul Soyud and Ateneo's Nonoy Baclao. What is West Negros University? Uh, if you took a look at the graphics, they are a 14 time champion of the Negros Occidental Private Schools Sports Culture and Education Association of the NOPSEA and a very formidable lineup that they have here. They, they played against teams like Colea de San, San Agustin Bacolod, University of St. La Salle Bacolod, whom, uh, which was coached um, back in the day by Coach Ricky Dandan, who now coaches the University of the Philippines, University of Negros Occidental Recoletos, and VMA Global College. So a very formidable bracket uh, which Western Negros comes from. And they are the 14-time champion of that region. Now let's talk about the team that they are going to face for the Visayas Islands Championship. The team in bright yellow, the University of Iloilo Wildcats, the champions of the ISSA, the Iloilo Sports Schools Association. Well, they are coached by Coach J. Jonik Pisuena, and uh, as a strategist, he loves to employ a pressing type of defense and a running type of game in that Iloilo Sports Schools Association where they participate in. They play against the likes of the University of San Agustin, Western Institute of Technology, Iloilo Doctors College, John B. Laxon Foundation, and Central Philippines University. So another also very formidable lineup that they are lineup of schools that they face on a regular basis, and they are the champions of that division. Well, it's the tenth year of the PCCL. Thank you for joining us as we search for the one true national collegiate basketball champion here as we begin the finals of the Visayas Regional Championship in the city of Dumaguete. You're looking at the oldest stone church in Negros, built in the year 19, sorry, 1754 to 1766, the Cathedral of St. Catherine of Alexandria it was reconstructed in 1885 and extended with the present facade in 1836 as we get set for the Visayas Regional Championship featuring West Negros University and the University of Iloilo Wildcats. Maraming masasalamat muli sa lahat ng mga nanunood ngayon sa Studio 23. Anton Rojas kasama si Marco Benitez and we have been given the list of starters for both squads, both coaches, not making any changes with regards to the players that will start off the game. Again, the University of Iloilo Wildcats are headed by head coach J. Jonik Pisuena. At para naman sa panik ng WNU or West Negros University, the head coach is Troy Sarabia. We'll talk about Marco the strengths and weaknesses and the style of play for both squads. Well, both teams that start off with uh, University of Iloilo. This is a pressing team uh, led by Coach J. J. 
Jay Pisuena as we see the starters on the floor for the Wildcats it's Parba a veteran point guard Tassi Jacob Nashongayo and Dayata um, for the West Negros University Mustangs you have Solomon Segumpan Geralde who is their tall and lanky big man Catalino and Veloso both these teams you will see once they take the floor are almost uh, similarly similar in height all of them very athletic although I would probably give the advantage in terms of front line to West Negros University with the likes of Catalino and Geralde but um, for the guards you have Barba who is a very veteran or a very mature point guard and uh, as a team I, I believe University of Iloilo would be employing the press or their pressing defense majority of this ball game. University of Iloilo is the team in yellow that you see on the screen on your screens right now. So what would be the keys to victory for both teams that start with West Negros University? Well for West Negros University because of their athleticism and because their big men also like to run you I, I believe the key for them would be to speed up the game. Um, from time to time they can press on opportunity force Iloilo to some turnovers get a lot of fast break points in transition or off the offensive rebound or de defensive rebounds rather and because of their formidable front line I would like to see them control the rebounds and get second chance opportunities for Iloilo of course they would also love to speed up the, the ball game control the tempo and the pace of play force West Negros to turnovers which they can score off of and um on the post or they, they need to get their fair share of rebounding especially with the, the likes of Geralde and Catalina always crashing the boards for the white shirts and we are underway this is the Visayas Islands Regional Championship wherein we crown the champions of Visayas that will move on in the next phase of the PCCL Rem Solomon knocking down the first basket of the ball game the point guard for head coach Troy Sarabia and you know the Solomon starting them off on the right foot and you know Anton uh, these two teams do not lack any scorers so expect this to be a very high scoring and a very fast paced ball game top scoring for West Negros University in the semi-finals was Errol Doromal a big man who plays similarly to Raul Soyud had 14 points but other players to watch out for for the Mustangs number seven Rasmar Catalino had 13 points in the semi-final match against West Western Leyte College. Then to shoot on the shot clock. Drive here. Blocked. But the Mustangs recover it. Catalino with a jumper. I was just talking about him. Yep. Rasmar Catalino. Well, Catalino can definitely has the range from within 20 feet. And uh, a little bit reminds me of Jervy Cruz, <laughs> uh, but of course, definitely Jervy Cruz a lot more polished and mature during his uh, playing days with the University of Santo Tomas. But definitely, Catalino has the potential to be, to be a big time scorer for West Negros. And Catalino, a smart player as well, recognizing that the shot clock was about to expire, took one dribble, pulled up for the jumper, drained it. Now, for the side of the Wildcats, the player to watch is the team captain number six, Christopher Tassi, who had 20 points in their semifinal win against BIT. And he has the ball right now. And <laughs> right on cue. Right on cue. Makes you look good, Anton. <laughs> driving strong right through the middle of the lane. Speaking of driving in the middle, Prisley. Geralde driving, kicking it out. Three-point shot does not fall for JV Veloso. A steal here. Mustangs on the run. Another triple on the way for Solomon. Not that time. So you see both teams like to push the ball up the floor whenever they have the chance to. This is the Visayas Islands Regional Championship. You will have a new champion at the end of this basketball game. Last year's tournament was won by the Ama Computer College. Oh, ball hit Christopher Tassi last, so it will go back to West Negros University wearing their white jerseys. Today, they wore the black jerseys in the semifinals as we see this drive by the captain of Iloilo, Christopher Tassi. Well, in terms of offense, West Negros likes to hit it inside the post or in the mid-post. As we see there, Catalino scoring against from, from the free throw line. 
uh, the Wildcats of University of Iloilo like to run set plays. They like to run staggered screens and uh, get some shooters open. And that's good defense being employed by Josh Segumpan, forcing Tassi to the sideline. 7-2 is our score early on here in the first period. This is our exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage of the PCCL. Solomon, too high a pass there, and he apologizes to head coach Troy Sarabia. And like what you were talking about, Doromal, Erol Doromal, likes to, uh, Troy Sarab Coach Troy Sarabia likes to bring him off the bench uh, so that he does not lose any, any offense once he starts going to, to his bench. And Doromal yesterday, show, uh, or in, during that semifinal matchup, showed us a variety of post moves. And he himself loves to crash that offensive glass. Doromal is probably the most imposing big man that we've seen here in this Visayas leg. That time, good defense or turnover there on the part of Parba. So a lot of early turnovers here for the team in yellow. Surprisingly, University of the are not starting off with a full court press because they also recognize that uh, West Negros as you see another turnaround fadeaway jumper there from Catalino. West Negros is a very veteran team also and uh, they were able to successfully navigate through the press given to them by Western Leyte uh, of Armok during that semi-final matchup. Let's take a look at this very difficult turnaround fadeaway jumper by Rasmar Catalino. He's backing down a little bit, turning, fading, swishing that ball through the net. Six points for Rasmar Catalino at the line for the University of Iloilo is Aladdin Dayata. Two of two after that bucket. Now we see a full court man to man here from the Wildcats. Ren Solomon. Faster than everybody on the floor. This is a good start for Solomon, who only scored one point in the semifinals. And that is the danger when you press a veteran team like West Negros University. Solomon able to beat you because the release pass was given to Catalino. And Catalino quickly recognizing that Solomon was speeding up the court, beat his man Parba, and was off to the races. So it is Solomon and Rasmar Catalino jump-starting this early lead for the Mustangs. White shirts also showing a, a little bit of a full court man to man. Their defense is uh, can be described as a little more half court oriented but um, extreme on the ball pressure nonetheless. Now that's traveling on the part of Meljon Nashongayao. Good idea though by Nashongayao, but just did not have his feet set. And it was called for the traveling. And you saw head coach of the University of Iloilo, J. Jonic Pesuena. Very serious look on his face. Not happy, apparently, with this slow start, or this erratic start by. University of Iloilo Wildcats. That time Iloilo now, now, now showing as we see Coach Troy Sarabia. Iloilo now employing a 1-2-2 zone forcing Solomon to a turnover. Part of the coaching staff of head coach Troy Sarabia, Jobert Pastias, Bernard Suante as well. Nashongayo from the outside. The ball will go back the other way to the WNU Mustangs. Ang pambato ng Bacolod City. We're, we're awaiting a new champion here in the Visayas region. Baseline jumper. And you know, West Negros has, uh, has a, formidable, a formidable lineup. Guys like Segumpan, Veloso later on off the bench. You're gonna see. Uh, you're gonna see Andrada, Kirby Andrada, and also J.R. Agudelo, who can also stroke it from the outside. And Andrada already checking in for Segumpan. Segumpan with that 
contested jumper, draining it for West Negros University. 13 to 4, a hot start for the WNU Mustangs here inside the Lamberto L. Macias Sports and Cultural Center in Dumaguete. Christopher Tassi, one dribble pull up. Tassi off the glass, too strong. Here comes Solomon. Solomon up ahead. And Veloso will finish it for West Negros University. That's his first field goal of the game. University of Iloilo a little bit shell-shocked here. Uh, West Negros running on every opportunity that they can get and scoring efficiently. Solomon, another triple on the way, too strong. And we thought it would be Iloilo utilizing their running game. And that's a good way to drive the foul for Aladdin Dayata. Take a look at this point guard, Ren Solomon, getting it to JV Veloso. Using his body, using the glass. It is a 15 to 4 lead for West Negros University. This is the scene inside the Lamberto L. Macias Sports and Cultural Center, named after the late former congressman of Negros Oriental. It's built by his son, actually, also the late former governor and congressman of the second district of Negros Oriental, Emilio Macias II. The hosts of this year's Visayas Islands Regional Championship. And you know, Anton, the difference between this game and the semifinals that University of Iloilo played against Ormoc was that, or sorry, played against BIT, was that they were able to create turnovers for BIT, but this time, West Negros University really doing a good job of breaking their press and scoring off of their press. So making University of Iloilo pay every time they set up their trap. Baseline drive, basket is good. JV Veloso, four points now for him. Spin move, and nowhere to go for Aladdin Dayata. And on the on the other hand, University of Iloilo not able to set up their offense, and they are they are the ones who are hurrying their shots, while West Negros not even employing a full court full court press. Solomon playing a better game than he did in the semi-finals already with five points and scored the first point here in the finals with a triple foul away from the ball though University of Iloilo now shifting to a man-to-man -man. as we see this drive JV Veloso shielding the ball and kissing it off the glass four minutes and four seconds remains here in the Visayas Islands Regional Championship substitution for head coach Pisuena Generalao is in the ball game. Rafi Generalao. Three point shot there does not fall for Curvy Andrada. And that's going to be a foul on Geralde. Useless foul there because Parba did not have the advantage against Solomon, and that's going to be that's going to send Geralde to the bench. Doroma, the guy who we were talking about. Checking into the ball game for the first time. Doromal, also a very, very intense player, mm -hmm. got into it with several of his counterparts from the Western Lady College Mustangs, but managed to score majority of his points in the second half. The top score with 14 for his squad. And he has, he's, a, he's a post player that has very good footwork and balance. And he loves to crash that offensive glass. So expect him to really try and uh, overpower the, the big men. Guys like Obaredes and Jacob of the Wildcats. Four points now for Barba. Oh, some activity away from the ball. JV Veloso caught there. He's coming over right now explaining his case to... His head coach, 
J. Jonic Biswenya. Sinabi na natin, very physical here. Uh, you have to you have to realize that championship. This is a championship game for the Visayas Islands, as we see here, number 14, Veloso. It's actually called a double foul. Yep, double foul. <laughs> Second motion on both players. I think it's Dayata. And that's the second time that Veloso has gotten the better of Dayata on that baseline drive. Six points now for JV Veloso. High arcing triple there. It does not fall. And they send the ball up ahead. Veloso with an errant pass. Right idea there, right idea though, but Catalino is a couple of steps behind. Nineteen to seven. Hot start for the West Negros University Mustangs. That's a foul on Doromal. Good idea there on the part of the Yata because he knows he has the quickness advantage against Catalino. Catalino dropping his stance and then Trying to catch up, but foul was called on Doromal, who had, who was forced to help out on the streaking Dayata. First free throw is good for Aladdin Dayata. All his points so far have come from the free throw line. Well, if University of Iloilo cannot get easy baskets from their set plays, this is the second best option: get baskets easily from the free throw line. And then hopefully try and get trim this lead back down to single digits. Right now it stands at 11, 19 to 8. Three minutes and 13 seconds remains here in this contest. So head coach J. Jonic Pesuena of the University of Ilo Iloilo. Doromal wants it at the post. A little bit too high though, uh -huh. where he wanted to receive it. But he definitely had the advantage against Generalao so coach Pis J. Pisuena forced to go with a smaller lineup and uh, West Negros University now trying to take advantage of that but Catalino with a turnover token pressure being shown here by by the white shirts Aladdin Sliding there, gets it to Farda. Farba fires from outside. And look at the players jump up for that basketball. And that's a foul, I think it's on Veloso. And if that's on Veloso, that Veloso. Found his take, that's going to be second foul. West Negros in the penalty. So again, Dayata trooping to the line. So if he makes both, it's going to be a nine point lead. Dayata is making a living from the free throw oh. line here. Already so has four points from the charity stripe. So Chinachaga, the University of Iloilo Wildcats, itong lead ng West Negros University. Substitution. Substitution here for head coach Troy Sarabia. It's going to be Jeramer Cabanag, number five, another versatile swingman uh, in the same mold as Veloso, Segumpen, and Andrada. He's going to be matched up against Dayata, Aladdin Dayata. And Jeremer Kabanag had a great semifinals game. He had 13 points off the bench. Solomon, high arcing three point shot. Doromal gets his own miss. Doromal, medyo inaalat pa. Oh, Perry, you can see he's, he creates a lot of space with his wide body. And, <laughs> uh, magaling din siya, that's a second and third jump. And we can hear the crowd react <laughs> with Doromal. Creating space, getting his own miss. Dormal, look at him gaining, trying to get position there. Rasmar Catalino, tough shot. 
Dormal can't get to that basketball. He's got to be careful. Yep. Already picked up a foul a while ago. There he is, Errol Toromal. West Negros now employing a full court man to man defense. Two minutes and 20 seconds remains here in the first quarter. You're watching the Visayas Regional Finals in the PCCL. Don Ross and Marco Benitez greeting you all the way down south from the city of Dumaguete. Ball was tapped, it is loose. Generalao trying to hold on to it. Nashongayao, Aaron Fast kicks it out. They have to put it up, corner triple on the way. That's an air ball, it is going to be Mustangs basketball. The defense of West Angeles University holding strong. Uh, University of Iloilo relying a lot on one-on-one -on -one drives and uh, pressure defense by West Negros creating a lot of havoc. Dormal wants it again at the post. Generalao denying him the pass. Solomon gets it down low to him, double team and they're really focusing their defense on this big man, Dormal. Good idea though on the part of Solomon and that's going to be a turnover on the part of Parba right into the hands Coach Troy Sarabia. <laughs> Who is sending in another player off the bench. That's going to be Rodolfo Salga. Backup point guard for the white shirts. And Good job by starting point guard Ren Solomon. As I mentioned, only scored one point in the semifinals. So upping his level of play here in the finals. Hoping to help his school represent Visayas in the next stage of the PCCL. Good recognition there on the part of Andrada and good pass also on the part of Salga. Actually both teams, Anton, parehong malalalim yung mga bench niya. Yes. Alright, with a minute and eight seconds remaining here in the first, West Negros University calls a timeout. They are up 21 to 12. In your book, napapanood ang aming exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage ng Philippine Collegiate Champions League. West Negros University currently on top right now in the finals. 21 to 12 against University of Iloilo. So far, Iloilo unsuccessful with their full court pressure. And even in the half court, West Negros efficiently able to break through that defense. Cabana kicks it out. Salga! Too strong on that triple. And you like the activity on the boards by the players from WNU. Oh, that's nice a pass. nice way to draw the defense. Excellent play off the bench from Froilan Bernaldez. And that's what the University of Ili has to do, but they go they're going to have to stop. Doromal, who has the clear advantage in the post against the front line of the Wildcats. And finally, Errol Doromal gets his first field goal of the contest. Uh-oh. That's a technical foul. That's going to be a technical foul on the bench. And I think the head coach. As we see this drive here by Bernaldez drawing two defenders and then having the presence of mind to drop it off to the wide open Rafi Generala. So with West Negros University starting off hot, getting a huge double-digit lead, their head coach, Troy Sarabia, gets called for a technical foul. And that's coach head, uh, head coach Troy Sarabia on the floor, or uh, on your screens. And you know, Iloilo has made a living off of this free throw line, they've cut the lead down to just 7 and they have ball possession with 18.9 seconds left in the first quarter. Medyo matagal yung first quarter natin na because of damning fouls that tinawag against West Negros. So this is a great opportunity for the University of Iloilo 
to get themselves back into this contest. They do not want to have to come down, come back from a deep hole. And that's going to be another foul on the part of Andrada, and that's going to send Obaredes back to the free or again into the free throw line for a couple more free throws. Foul is on Curvy Andrada, who had a nice jumper a while ago on the other end. So good job here by the bench players uh -huh. of head coach Pisuena to show a lot more energy than the starters did to get themselves back into this contest. Yeah, the only starters on the floor for coach Pisuena are Obaredes and Nashon Gallo, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, sorry, Obaredes actually came off the bench, so it's only Nacho Gallo who was a starter for the Wildcats. Salva speeding up ahead. Two seconds remaining here in the first. Three is overshot. So, at the end of the first quarter, the score is 23 to 18 in favor of the West Negros University Mustangs. You're watching our exclusive ABS CBN sports coverage of the PCCL. Nagbabalik po ang Philippine Collegiate Champions League Visayas Islands Regional Championship at Don Rojas kasama si Marco Benitez pinabati kayo mula dito sa loob ng Lamberto L. Macias Sports and Cultural Center sa Dumaguete City This is the championship in the Visayas Regional Islands Tournament That's a basket by the University of Iloilos Bernaldez to cut the deficit to just three. Oh, tatlo na lang. And in West Negros University started out the game strong, limiting Iloilo to just four points, while they themselves started off with 14 quick points led by Solomon. But Iloilo slowly creeping back um, by means of the free throw charity stripe because of the fouls that were called at West Negros University. Rasmar Catalino and JV Veloso started off hot for West Negros University, scoring six points apiece. While on the other side, Aladin Dayata scored all of his points from the free throw line, all of his six points to lead the Wildcats in scoring. Well, so far, West Negros has been able to successfully maneuver through the press of Iloilo, and that's the reason why they race to this uh, to their lead. But Iloilo, in turn, has been able to penetrate through the half court defense of West Negro. So we said at the start of this ball game or during the pregame that uh, these are arguably arguably the two best teams that we've seen here in Dumaguete, and they're slowly showing us um, that what we saw was true. Jonet Jacob, who did not really make an impact early on at the start of the game is back trying to redeem himself he's able to draw a foul during the semi-finals uh, coach JP is when you actually used Obaredes more uh, as a center because of the smaller lineup of BIT International College but right now faced against a taller front line by West Negros guys like Heraldi and Catalino he's going to need to utilize Jacob a lot more First free throw does not fall though for John Ed Jacob. Second free throw is good for him, so he chops that lead down to three. Now, what has University of Iloilo done to get themselves back into this ball game, Marco? Well, uh, compared to the first quarter, they've limited uh, the easy basket sport in transition by West Negros University. If you notice. Their press is just a man-to-man -man full court defense. They're not trapping anymore so that the West Negros cannot get easy passes off the press break. So they're just sticking to their men, playing on-ball defense, forcing West Negros to execute in the half court, which West Negros has uh, failed to do on a couple of possessions or on a couple of occasions, while they themselves in the half court have been able to score and get to the free throw line themselves. Rasmar Catalino now bringing the ball down. Ren Solomon, the engine of Coach Troy Sarabia's offense. 
back on the floor. That's a foul, though, on Jacob. If you're West Negros University, you might want to utilize Catalino uh, at this point in the ballgame because he's faced up against the taller Jacob, and I think Catalino, with his range, can really force Jacob to extend beyond his comfort zone on defense. Kamada missing his first free throw. Jeremer Cabana again 13 points in the semifinals off the bench. Well, he has to come out big once again if he wants his squad to be the representative of Visayas in the next stage of the PCCL. West Negros now going with a relatively smaller lineup also so that they can match up full court man to man. Uh, Sekumpan is back in the ball game together with Solomon and that's going to be another turnover on the part of Obareres but he redeems himself blocking Solomon on that layup Wildcats now slowing things down but as I say that a give and go play uh, University of Iliilo uh, likes to run those pass and cut plays so Excellent give and go there on the part of Oparedes and Gonzalez. And Gonzalez, I'm happy to see him back on the floor because in the semifinals, he hurt his mm -hmm. he hurt his knee actually, or his or his left ankle was down on the floor for quite a while. So it's nice to see him back yep. playing here in the finals. And I think he's got that ankle brace on his left ankle. Ah, so it's his ankle. Okay. Another good stop here on the part of the Wildcats. Trying to get it to Tassi. Oh, mistimed lang yung jump ni Tassi. Oh. Christopher Tassi. The highest pointer in all of the teams. 20 points in the semifinals in their win against the Bohol Institute of Technology. Seeing the offensive arsenal uh -huh. of Rasmar Catalino, he can drive, he can pull up, he can post as well. Yeah, that's the right idea. Send Catalino one on one against Jacob. You saw immediately uh, help side defense coming, coming to help Jacob. But good move there, good up fake on the part of Catalino to get Jacob jumping. This is the second quarter of the Visayas Islands Regional Finals between West Negros University. That's their main man, Rasmar Catalino, knocking down that free throw. So the score is 26 to 23. Now the referees are very strict, even yesterday, even in the semifinals, making sure that the players check in from the scorer's table yep. and not from the bench. One dribble pull up there. High arcing shot does not fall. Rebound. West Negros University. Cabanag. Driving jumper. Could not convert. Here come the Wildcats. Aladdin just missing on that layup. You hear the reaction from the crowd. Dayata, it's a three on one fast break opportunity. Tassi could not convert. Battle for the loose ball, it is with West Negros University. Both teams able to run up and down the floor. Turnaround jumper again for Catalino. Not that time. And here come the Wildcats. Nashong Gayao. Baseline drive, bit in. Aladdin Dayata really, really having trouble scoring from the field. Doing his best work at the free throw line. No the foul call. Referee is letting, the, the yeah. letting them play. Gonzalez goes to Nashong Gayao. Nashong Gayao has no choice but to send that ball back out. Rasmar Catalino wants to take it all by himself. And finally, a halt of the action. Up and down basketball. Both teams not able to capitalize. And Coach Troy Sarabia wants to send his starters back in. Heralde 
and Veloso back into the ball game for Cabana and Salga. Veloso top scoring for West Negros in the first quarter with six points. So the foul, okay, it came in the act of shooting. So Rasmar Catalino will take two free throws once again. First free throw is good for Catalino. Again, this game is taking place inside the Lamberto El Macias gym in Dumaguete. And if you're West Negros, you'd want to take advantage of your formidable front line with Geralde and Catalino. Um, University of Iloilo with a leaner front line. Um, and then hopefully let your offense emanate from an inside-out game. While for Iloilo, they're trying to spread the floor and uh, take advantage of their cutting, cutting game. Three-point shot on the way. Geralde gets to that rebound. Here comes Ren Solomon. Solomon speeding up the court. Solomon stops, pops, missing. Geralde saves it to the wrong guy. Here comes Romar Parba. Parba kicks it out. Gets it back. And he wants a post up here for his teammate. And that's a foul on Solomon. So Good recognition. Obredes. Kitanya si Solomon Lang, who is uh, a head shorter than he is. Obredes immediately going to the post and then drawing the foul. We have another timeout. 27 to 23 is our score. West Negros University is on top here in the Visayas Regional Finals. The beautiful Balinsasayo Twin Lakes Natural Park in Cibulan, Negros Oriental. And we had a great chance to visit the place, Marco, take some pictures. Beautiful place here in Negros Oriental. Too bad you forgot your board shorts, Anton. <laughs> <laughs> the water was pretty cold anyway. Oh. About an hour's drive from... From Magari City. Yeah. To get there. Christopher Tassi. Mm -hmm. Finally three, knocking four. down a three. So it's just a one point lead here for West Negros. Well, Tassi did hit three triples in the semifinals. So he does have that outside shot. West Negros going to the post immediately. Help side defense being given by Obaredes. Getting the block. Wildcats running. Tassi, that's his specialty. Iloilo finally taking the lead up by one, 28 to 27. And you sense a little bit more energy in their step. And this, this is the first lead for Iloilo in this ball game. And that's going to be another turnover there on the part of Veloso. So momentum shifting here to the yellow shirts. And this is a big morale booster for the University of Iloilo just showing a lot of energy started with that block Parba finding the captain with that bounce pass Christopher Tassi doing what he does best running on the break and finishing on the drive you know I thought if, if the advantage of West Negros is in their front line for me the advantage of Iloilo is the athleticism of their players and practically everybody on the floor Obaredes included with the ability to start the fast break so they don't lose any any precious seconds looking for their point guard or looking for their shooting guard to start their break for them guys like Dayata, Obaredes, Tassi, even Nashon Gallo with the ability to immediately start the fast break and get transition baskets and now West Negros University calls Four time because they are now down by three. Ooh. 
West Negros University off to a very hot start, leading by double digits, but crumbling here in the second quarter because of the intense defense and intensity being shown by the University of Iloilo, who are now on top. Great, great sweeping layup there on the part of Heralde. Good way to come off a timeout for West Negros University. Here comes Salba. Gets it back. Salba on the inside. Veloso with a baseline jumper. And you know, with the firepower of West Negros just like that, getting the lead back. One dribble pull up there. And look at the players fighting for that loose ball, but it will go back to the Mustangs. You know, Dayata reminds me of Ronald Pascual. Sa itsura siguro. Pero grabe rin yung athleticism nito si Dayata. If only he had the shooting form of Roy, oh. Ronald Pascual. But he is an athletic player. And Veloso with a sweet stroke from about 18 feet. Free throw is good there. With three minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Here in the first half. Visayas Regional Championship starting center, Prisley Heralde. Actually, the first guy we noticed while watching the warm ups of these teams for the oh. first times in the semis, Marco, was this guy, Heralde. Yeah. The guy who took the free throws because he's long, athletic, and he was dunking. <laughs> Getting the attention of everybody inside the gym. But you know, Obarede is showing us that he can run the break. And that is the reason why Coach Jay Pisuenio used him uh, heavily uh, in that semi-final matchup. Because he's long and he can distract the, the big men of opponents. And he can really be fully utilized when the University of Iloilo runs that press of them. Their press. Here's that nice press break though by the University of Iloilo, Obaredes. Losing it though. Salga. Killer crossover there. Salga kicks it out. Segumbal off the glass. Barba always pushing the ball. No look pass to Aladdin oh. Dayata. Just lost the handle. But you know what you like about the Wildcats is that every opportunity they get. Because of their athleticism, is they're, they're always looking to run and score on fast break. Salga. West, West Negros, the more deliberate of the two squads. Because yeah. they have the materials yeah. to be able to set up a half-court offense. That time, Salga not setting up anything. Just cutting through the heart of the defense oh. of Iloilo. Rafi Hineralao oh. checking in. In favor of Nashum Gayo. Henry Lau showed a lot of energy in that second unit of head coach Pisuena. One of the reasons why Iloilo fought their way back into this contest. Prisley Heralde showing that he also has that turnaround fadeaway. Yep, he asked for that clear out. That's a foul on Heralde. Uh, Obaredes went for that drive. You can see Oparedes has the confidence. Alam niya kaya kaya niya si Heralde from the outside. But Heralde showing he Oparedes that he has the advantage when it comes to the post game. One of the things that you notice also, Marco, watching the semifinals was the build of these players from the University of Iloilo. Oh. Very long, lanky, lanky. quick. Tsaka matching lahat ng sabatos. Oo nga, oo nga, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 37 to 33. It's actually one of the one of the signs that Alamo they have an organized basketball yes. program. Completo uniforms, uh, warm-ups, shoes, 
socks. West Negros also, although not with the shoes. Missing on that three-point shot. Bayata again, nearly losing that basketball, somehow getting it to Abaredes. Good composure there on the part of Abaredes. But you saw any anybody who gets that rebound immediately looking up and making that outlet pass. You know, I just realized, Marco, this is a battle between two teams that two teams representing two different cities, Bacolod and Iloilo. And they're like, uh, they're close to each other actually. It only mm -hmm. takes a boat ride to get to Iloilo from Bacolod or vice versa. Yeah. I've been to both cities and very, very nice experiences for me there. And that's going to be a foul on Catalino. Foul number seven. Running foul. through that screen set by Hinen Alao. But you know, I thought, if I'm not mistaken, there's also a bit of rivalry even with the cultures of yeah. both islands. Bacolod and Iloilo. One minute and 23 seconds remaining here in the first half. Henerlao knocking down that free throw. <laughs> well, I don't know, Marco. To pass for a lookalike of Jens Epi's Jens Nutel. <laughs> I'm not sure if Jens would agree with that <laughs> one though. Pero ibang iba yung laro nila. And of course, kaibigan natin yan si Jens Nutel. So. <laughs> Lead is back with the University of Iloilo. 38 to 37. Minute and 23 remaining. A little wet, wet spot there. Coach Troy Sarabia. Head coach of the University of Iloilo or the Pamantasan and Iloilo. And that is his counterpart, head coach Jay Pisuena of the University of Iloilo. Troy Sarabia, excuse me, the head coach of West Negros University. Half court defense holding up for Iloilo. Great help side defense. Well, that's going to be too strong. Oparedes unable to get to it. Oparedes playing the center position for the yellow shirts, leading that fast break. Palakas lang ng konti yung pasa. Would have been a good pass or good, would have been a good fast break there for the Wildcats. Solomon will take the ball down now for the Mustangs. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Hook shot at the post. Does not drop. And the ball will go back the other way to Iloilo. And you know the guy we haven't seen uh, towards this latter portion of the second quarter is Doromal. Yeah. Actually, Coach Troy has gone with Herald. Heraldo, Heralde and Catalino. Alam din niya, nakikita din niya na Iloilo using their advantage, always pushing the ball. Baka mahirapan mo kasabay si Dorumal. Dayata, too strong off the glass. Dayata, keeping that ball alive. And Dayata still having trouble putting the ball through the net. Quick hands there on Dayata. Credit him for not giving up on that play. Yeah. On Wildcats. And look, this was after Dayata missed his shot. Not giving up, tapping the ball, eventually getting it to him himself. And just unfortunately still unable to find a field goal. But he's all he he's been almost perfect yeah. from the free throw line. Where he's made his living. And the most important thing is they were able to escape being down big time as they are now on top by three, 40 to 37. Enough time for 
West Negros to take uh, to make the last play of the quarter uh, on the half. So we're gonna look to post Catalino. But Jeremy Cabanac decides to take it all by himself. Good move. Gets his own miss. Jeremy Cabanac. Still a lot of time. Oh, that was two seconds left. So, so that will do it for the first half of play. West Negros University led big, but University of Iloilo turning things around. So the score is 40 to 39 in the Wildcats' favor. You're watching our exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage of the Philippine Collegiate Champions League. This is the finals in the Visayas Islands Regional Championship featuring West Negros University and the University of Iloilo. Thank you so much for joining us on Studio 23. I'm Anton Ross alongside Marco Benitez. And Marco, after a hot start by West Negros, University of Iloilo not giving up and fighting back to get themselves in contention here in this ballgame. Actually, great job by University of Iloilo on defense in that second quarter. They limited West Negros to just 16 points while they themselves scored 22 to grab a one-point lead. But immediately, Catalino answers back to start the third quarter. So, lead goes back. And Catalino becomes the first player in this ball game. Actually, the, sec the first player for West Negros University to get into double digits. He had eight in the first half. What a shot there by Parba. And you know, West uh, University of Iloilo actually doing it uh, with their man-to-man -man defense. Did not really employ that much of a press in the second quarter, but just played honest defense man-to-man. -man. And they were able to force West Negros to take up uh, some hurried shots got them out of their rhythm and was able to score from the free throw line and that's remarkable considering that West Negros University is the much taller team <laughs> missing on that three point shot was Cabanag and this is what Iloilo has done well they've run the ball on every occasion anybody who gets that rebound looking to push and looking for that outlet pass Substitution, that's an early substitution here for head coach Troy Sarabia. Lapore, who played really sparingly mm -hmm. in the semifinals, comes in. He's actually the third string point guard for the Mustangs. And this is the first taste of action he's going to yeah. get. So, completely cold off the bench. Immediately, Tassi takes it right to him. Tassi just burned. Lapore there, but Lapore did score two points in the semifinals against Western Leyte College. And they're looking to post, looking for the post. The 16 Agudelo. It's going to be a reach in foul on the part of Parba. Agudelo, another player who played sparingly in the semifinals, given an opportunity here in the second half. Let's take a look at this one more time. Tassi recognizing that Lapore is cold off the bench, and Tassi, another quick player, much like Mark Chester Ngoho of Western Leyte, is going by. That's a foul on the fast break. Grabe to makbutong mga wingmen. Ng University of Iloilo, particularly Tasi, Dayata, Obareres actually plays the four and the five position, pero can equally run that fast break. Actually, Marco, di ba yun ang una, una nating napansin mm -hmm. nung pumasok tayo dito sa gym, pinanood natin yung semifinals, sinabi natin ang bibilis ng mga player na to. Oh, walang kapaguran. And it it helps a lot that uh, Coach J. Piswen, Piswenya has a very deep bench with players who are similarly built. Solomon getting a free lane. Uh -huh. Wise move there on the part of Cabanag. 
But there are times though that the referee will call oh. a blocking foul there. Pag masyadong obvious yeah. yung, ano, yung screen. Ito din yung ginagawa ng University of Ilido. They really spread the floor well. So that Parba is left one-on-one -on -one against Solomon. I think there's something wrong with the clock right now. It's not running. But play resumes here. Play continues to run. So perhaps the official stable have a different clock. But the clock has stopped running here. It's stuck at 8 minutes and 2 seconds. There, it's finally, finally working. Step back there by Parba. Offensive rebound here. Oh. Step. And you know, the other thing that... Uh, the Wildcats have done is that they've crashed the offensive glass really well. Guys like Nacho Gallo, Dayata, Obaredes. A lot of second chance opportunities keeping them, keeping their heads above water. Nice drive there by Jeremy Cabanag. Coach Troy Sarabia really starting off with full of firepower here in the third quarter. Let's take a look at this one more time. Nasho Gayao. Hops inside. Sidestep. Spins that ball enough to get it to roll through the hoop. Third quarter action in the PCCL, Visayas Islands Finals. Good defense there on the part of Salga. Just checked in. And this is the first leg of many regional championships that we will be witnessing. Coming up also at the Mindanao Regional Championship in Iligan City. So stay tuned for that one as we move along with our ABS CBN sports coverage of the PCCL. On the ball. Good idea there on the part of Parba, but uh, failed on the execution. Baseline drive. It is up and in for Rasmar Catalino, perhaps the most polished player here in this Visayas tournament, Marco. Unfortunately, the past two or three possessions, he's not been able to capitalize on his touches. Uh, the yellow shirts have done a great job playing help defense against him. The activity of the Wildcats really bothering West Negros University. A simple tap from behind there by Farba, forcing a near turnover. This was that drive by Rasmar yeah. Catalino. Catalino at that time deciding to take it a little further out so that the help defense cannot react as quickly. Uh, guys like Obaredes like to play the help side. So that could be a good ploy for Catalino. How do you think a player like Rasmar Catalino would match up against the guys in the UAAP? Well, I think um, if he's going to play the four position, he would be a good matchup against uh, guys like Nico Salva. Although Nico Salva would use his quickness advantage. In LaSalle, he would be a little... LaSalle likes to use Norbert Torres and Van Opstal simultaneously. But I think he would have a respectable show uh, given the chance. Here he's showing that he's really a good player in this Visayas region for West Negros University. Oh, an offensive foul. Caught warding off there was Salga. You know, of course, I thought just one last point about Catalino. He's going to have to be more consistent hitting that jumper uh, from mid-range because he's not going to be able to penetrate as easily uh, in the UAAP. You see a warding off foul there on the part of that Salga? Yes, Salga. Seen on that replay. Lapore. Recognizing 
that the defense was not looking. Decided to pull up. Great recognition. As looks like we have an official's timeout with a score 51 to 50. With five minutes and 32 Up seconds there. remaining here in the third quarter. Oh, they're gonna try to get this wet spot dried up. The player slipping there a while ago. Oh, the Legadia, and especially uh, with the intensity of the play, and especially this, since this is a championship game. Yeah. Good crowd here inside the Lamberto L. Macias Sports and Cultural Center in the province of Negros Oriental. Again, this gym was built by the son of Mr. Macias, a former congressman, the late governor and congressman Emilio Macias the second you can sense that on that young crowd there they're they're waiting for some good plays just uh, for the right time to explode sometimes when there are uh, exceptional plays naririnig natin yung ano yung shouts from the crowd but um, I think they they're still trying to look for consistently good play from both teams and expect that towards the end of the fourth quarter uh, talaga may involved in crowd natin here sa Dubaguete. Especially with the way things are going with, uh -huh. the, with the score right now A tug of war for the lead 51-50 to 50 at this point In favor of West Negros University Tsaka syempre iba pa rin yung Kapag meron kang home team na chini-cheer Kaya Both lang these teams parehong dayo Dito yeah. sa, ano, sa Dubaguete As mentioned by one of the hosts, Coach Glenn Serion, is the first time that Dumaguete not playing in the finals of this region. Rida spreading the floor very well that time, short of the layup, but Obareres gets it back. The Wildcats just have no quit in them. Oh. You see, it's Dayata playing defense in the perimeter. Drive by Cabanag Jeremer. Another good drive there by Cabanag. Taking advantage of his quickness. That's Long triple. Lead pass here to Jeremer. A nice pass underneath. Rasmar Catalino going to work once again. Ball. Ball over Crossover by Jeremer Cabana driving to the heart of the Wildcats defense and scoring. And here, getting his teammates involved. Oh, good patience, Dito, on the part of Catalino. Waiting for the flyby. Easy two points. So 55 to 52. West Negros University on top. And four minutes and 29 seconds remaining here in the third period. Once again, thank you for joining us. This is our exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage of the Philippine Collegiate Champions League. This is the first leg of this brand new tournament of the PCCL. Oh, that's going to be a turnover there on the part of Iloilo. The national guy just let it roll out of the baseline. But the 14th point of Catalino gives West Negros University a three-point lead here in the third quarter. That's Dayata on your screens. So it's going to be an inbound on the baseline because nobody touched the basketball. Henry Lau coming back in for, for Nashom Gayao. So Salga's going to have to inbound it all the way back on the baseline. And the uh, University of Iloilo setting up their full court man. Back on the floor for West Negros University, Errol Doromal, who wants the ball at the post. He gets it immediately. He is double teamed. Released that basketball <laughs> to Agudelo. There was a foul. Yep. Good pass there on the part of Doromal. Immediately you see him, and, you know, attention being given to Doromal. Immediate double team because he's matched up against Henry who is uh, much smaller than he is. 
And Bermal wants it again at the post. Generalao trying to deny oh. him. What a presence Harold Duramal here is. Number 11. Second personal foul. That's the second personal foul on him. He's, he's animated in trying to ask his teammates how to defend this guy. Errol Duramal. Mid range jumper does not fall. It is Wildcats basketball. Speeding up the floor. Attacking Duramal. And the basket is good. What a drive there. Shongayo showing no fear. And that's how you can get Errol Doromal out of the court by getting him into foul trouble that time though. No foul called on Doromal. But they're really trying to get him yep. active. Double oh, team is, comes yep. almost immediately, Marco. Oh, but it is doing a good job helping out Generalao. Dayata. Finally, a field goal for him. And then getting the steal. Ito bang si pagtalaga ng Wildcats, showing us their athleticism. Quickly taking the lead back again from West Negros. What a battle we're having here in the Visayas Regional Finals. Three minutes and 21 seconds remaining here in the third period. Aladdin Dayata only missed two free throws in the first half of play. Uh, made his living there. Now going back to the free throw line. He was 8 for 10 in the first half. Free throw is good for Aladdin. Let's take a look at this drive against Errol Doromal. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that was Bernaldez. Bernaldez, sorry. Froyland Bernaldez. We can see that West Negros is really looking for Doramal at yep. the post. They're just not able to get it to him. Pesky defense there on the part of the yellow shirts. With Dormal on the floor is Alam na Nang Iloilo kung saan pupunta ang bola So immediately once the ball touches Dormal They double team And they force a turnover Iloilo on top 60 to 55 That is the Siliman University Assembly Hall, the oldest building in Siliman University. And it is said to have held Filipino prisoners during the Japanese time. That structure was built in 1901. A lot of history here in the city of Dumaguete. And the teams on the floor right now looking to make history in the PCCL by becoming the new Visayas Islands Regional Champions. We're still in the third quarter though. Adjustment being made here by coach Sarabia putting Catalino back in so that the offense in the post does not have to rely solely on Doromal. Good stop here on the part of the white shirts and that's going to be a foul on a yellow shirt. That's going to be on a foul on General Lau. Two minutes and 15 seconds remains here in the third quarter. University of Iliilo trying to pull away to have a little bit of cushion mm -hmm. entering the fourth. Now, if you're Errol Doromal, what do you have to do to get yourself involved, get yourself into spots wherein you can score? Well, uh, um, with the attention that the defense is giving you, you just have to play decoy initially. Uh, you know that Catalino is there who can also score so hopefully play decoy force them to give attention on you and then uh, feed Catalino off of that post so at that time they went directly to Doromal Doromal easily scoring but that was the biggest lead though of the Wildcats at 7 62 to 55 before that Doromal basket 
if Dormal gets it that low, that's, there's very little that Heren Arlau can do against him. And there's not enough time for the double to come. Couldn't get that basket to fall. The Wildcats. Oh, that's a the double. traveling. Dribbling violation there on the part of Lapore. Excited, yeah. Nakita niya si Nero, uh, si Doromal tumatagbo in transition. Uh, he had a one-on-one -on, -one on the offensive end. Yep. Clearly, double dribble there for Henry Lau. Minute 15 to go here in the third period. This is brought to you by ABS-CBN Sports, our exclusive coverage of the PCCL all the way from Dumaguete City. Tassi back on the floor, the captain drive, the captain shoots. Hard fall by both players. And look at er Doramal sprint down the floor. Nice pass. Oh, looks like an over-the-back foul. Yeah, that's, other, that's another answer to your question, Antonio. If Dormal cannot get the ball directly in the post, he has to crash the board so that he can, he can give his team second chance opportunities like what he's doing now. Pass to Sekumpan, missing. Dormal jumping for that rebound, but referee says Tassi pushed it from behind. Really takes up a lot of space inside the paint, so... Once he's there, he gets a good chance to get that offensive rebound. Oh, the basket will count for Jeremer Kabanag. Number 12. Who has played heavy minutes here in the third quarter for coach Troy Sarabia. Hindi talaga makapitaw to University of Iloilo. There's the rebound there by Kabanag. Well, we expected a very exciting matchup between these two teams, thinking that the fast-paced style of the Wildcats could counter yep. the setup plays and the big men, the tall, talented players of the Mustangs. We're seeing a very competitive contest here. That's a three-point bomb. From the backup center, Obaredes. Oh, na patingin na lang sa scoreboard si Catalino. Not knowing that Obaredes can stroke it from that far, <laughs> really giving Catalino problems is Obaredes. There he is, the backup center, all the way in the corner, camped out, fires from the corner, knocks it in. And that's what Ililo is doing. They're spreading the floor really well because Obaredes gives them that versatility. Eight seconds remaining here in the third. The ball will stay with the Wildcats. Romar Parba will take it out. Gets it back. Parba fires from way out. Wow. Romar Parba giving the Wildcats a little bit of cushion here. Entering the fourth quarter, the score is 68 to 61. One more time, Romar Parba gets the ball to the captain, Tassi, gives it back to Parba. No hesitation, fires from way out to give the University of Iloilo a seven-point lead as we are about to enter the fourth quarter. Kayo nakatutok sa aming exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage ng 2012 Philippine Collegiate Champions League. This is the Visayas Islands Finals between West Negros University and the University of Iloilo. Right now, Iloilo on top by 7. It's going to make it 9 after that short baseline jumper. West Negros University, before the start of this quarter, we're clapping their hands at the bench, signaling that they are not going to give up and try to return the favor because Iloilo fought their way back into this game. 
after a very, oh. very slow first quarter, scrambler for that ball, Errol Doromal falling hard to the ground. And we talked about this. Uh, we talked about this going to be a high-scoring ball game. Uh, both teams actually quarter scores. West Negros 23 in the first, 16 in the second, 22 in the third, to have 61 point total. While University of Iloilo started slow with 18 points in the first, 22 in the second, and exploding for 28 in the third quarter. So to finish with 68 after three cantos. 9 minutes and 28 seconds on the clock here in the 4th and final quarter. Another wet spot. Medyo tinatawag pa yung mop man. When a big man like Errol Doromal falls on the floor, he's gonna really create a huge wet spot. And that is what is being fixed right now. Both coaches using the opportunity to... Uh, save their timeouts and uh, map out some strategies good crowd inside the Lamberto El Masia Sports and Cultural Center this is the first leg the Visayas leg in the 2012 Philippine Collegiate Champions League and once again the chairman is Mr. Reynaldo Gamboa and the tournament director is our good friend the legendary head coach Jolipa Lapore getting a lot of minutes here in the second half. Doing a good job backing, uh, backing up Salga and Solomon. Actually, I don't think Solomon played uh, substantial minutes in the third quarter because of the steady play of Lapore. Yeah, actually, that's true. Lapore, who actually did not play at all in the first half, given a chance by head coach Sarabia. In the third quarter, this Errol Dormal. Dormal puts it up. And they can live with that, actually. If Dormal yeah. just shoots from that range and not get way too deep in the paint. That time, three yellow shirts grabbing the rebound. Jacob showing Dormal that he has the range himself. And now Dormal knows that he cannot allow Jacob to shoot easily, Dormal trying to utilize his body and his power and Parba giving Jacob some instructions and Jacob is set to check back out Let's take a look at this shot by Jacob, the starting center of the University of Iloilo good pace up there on the part of Jacob then uh, jab step to pull up but uh, Doramal also on the opposite end showing us that he too has a quick drop step to the baseline and Jacob actually gave the University of Iloilo its biggest lead of the contest at 9 at the post Prisley Heralde Heralde short on that turnaround you know Heneralau has done a great job playing defense on the post Earlier it was against Doromal, that time against Geralde. And he's doing that despite being undersized in his position. So the Good. University of Iloilo trying to pull away, Marco. Good defense that time by Lapore, forcing Parba, not giving Parba any, any room to operate, forcing it to a backcourt violation. They're really trying their best to establish Errol Doromal, and you see why. Oh, ganda ng footwork. Drop step to the baseline, creating space, having the balance to kiss it off the glass. Seven point lead now for the Wildcats. Three point shot on the way for Obredes. Oh, Doromal. Falls down hard again. Wait a minute, Dormal. It's gonna go to. Oh, it's gonna stay with the University of Iloilo. And yung galaw ni Dormal creating space against Nashong Gayo. He is just a beast down low. Take a look at the West Negros University bench. Rasmar Catalino 
He needs a strong fourth quarter performance, Marco. Yep. Now, with another wet spot, oh. the coaches get an opportunity to talk <laughs> strategy. Uh, well, that's one ploy to save on timeouts. And wet spot was created once again by Errol Doromal. You know, the, the crowd here in Dumaguete is a pretty tame crowd. But we can understand that because, guy na sinabi mo kanina, oh, Marco, wala yung, uh, wala yung home team. There's a rebound there by Doromal. He was actually asking for that uh, foul from Generalaus, claiming that he was pushed from behind by Generalaus. That's why he lost his balance, but the referee's not calling that. Errol Doromal. Raul Soyu 2.0. <laughs> He plays like Raul Soyud. Both the build is the same, the way they move is the same, and I don't know if they were teammates before, but you do know Raul Soyud came from West Negras University, oh. now plays for University of the Philippines. Soyud has one more year of eligibility remaining in the UAAP, so we'll see him, UAAP season 76. Tassi been quiet for quite a while here in the second half. Another long three-point shot attempted by Parba. Not that time. Heralde looking to post. Heralde faces up. Heralde spins. Heralde... Oh, sorry, missed. Everything but the shot there on the part of Heralde. Now West Negros University turning up the defensive intensity. Nashongayo missing on that three-point shot. And that's going to go to West Negros. So oh. good stop there on the part of West Negros. Only a seven-point lead, 7-20 seven and 20 to go here in the fourth quarter. This is the Visayas Islands Regional Finals. So the winner here will advance to the next stage of the PCCL oh fading jumper nice move there on the part of Cabanat kita niya that the uh, help side defense was waiting for that entry pass to Doroma so he decided to take it on his own so this is a 4 to nothing run and finally Iloilo stops it good spacing there on the part of the Wildcats making West Negros pay for their, their every time they double team the perimeter. Doromal wants it at the post. Doromal triple team. Doromal could not convert on the turnaround. Kita mo quick help on the part of Obaredes forcing Doromal to shoot a slight fadeaway. Farba. Look at the ball movement oh, here. Kinda. Christopher Tassi, the captain, finding the wide open. Nashong Gaya, Doromal, too late on the help. Good ball movement, good spacing on the part of the yellow shirts. Aladdin, Dayata, back in the ball game. Notice also that uh, Coach Jay Pisuena shortening his rotation yeah. using just about uh, eight men compared to the semifinals where he used about 11. Misfiring was Curvy Andrada. And we're still not seeing Rasmar Catalino come back here in the fourth quarter. Coach Troy Sarabia probably saving him for a last push. And his team is still within striking distance here. Still a lot of time to go. Six minutes and 11 seconds remains here in the fourth quarter. Dormal gets it again at the post. Dormal. Could not convert, couldn't get the foul, <laughs> screaming at the oh. ref. <laughs> Good defense there on the part of Nashon Gayo, but uh, again, just goes to show you how difficult it is to stop Doromal that, that deep. Now one thing Doromal has to do also is to make sure he doesn't tire himself out. He's already bending over, huffing and puffing. Well, he's got to conserve his energy. Nakapagod din kasi yung ginagawa niya. He's attacking two defenders. Trying to force the shot. 
and you know not just that Anton the, just the the act of trying to get inside position against the defenders of the yellow shirts that in itself is tiring enough Minsan wala ka nang lakas by the time you get the ball down low and, and then you have to contend against yeah. the leaping Obaredes and Nashong Gayo. So you have to credit the yellow shirts for really making life difficult for Errol. And that's for the count. So it's a five point lead. Still a long way to go here in the fourth. Nobody picking up Nashong Gayo. Obaredes, too strong. Normal Not gets the shot. basketball. Not the shot that Coach J. Piswenya wanted. Too early in the shot clock, and then a useless foul there on the part of Tassi with the Wildcats in the penalty. So, freebies being given to Lapore. Uh, this is not a good situation now for the Wildcats, with still 5 minutes and 50 seconds remaining. They're already in the penalty. Now, Marco, if you're head coach Troy Sarabia of West Negros University, would you instruct the players to try to get it in the post and draw some fouls? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Doromal is, has proven that he is an able passer inside the paint. So try to get it inside the paint. If the double team comes, make sure that Heralde and probably Kabanag are in good position to receive those drop passes. Nashom Gayao throwing the ball away. You hear the reaction from the crowd. Doromal wants it again at the post. He gets it. Double team is there. Just Jake. what you were talking about a while ago, Marco. Good post position for Doromal. Not much that uh, yellow shirts can do when he's down that deep. Look at the double team come, but Doromal just like a butcher. Slicing through the bodies. Missing though on that first free throw. Doromal already with 8 points in the ball game. Top scorer siya last game, no? Yes, 14 the points off the bench. <laughs> Missing though on both free throw shots. Still no Rasmar Catalino. But I remember talking yesterday with you at the semifinals. One of the problems of West Negros is when you have good players, you tend to become a one-on-one uh, -on -one team too much. Yep. And uh, that time... Good idea, but good help side defense on the part of Cabanag elevating for that block against Obaredes. Pero just as you were saying, Anton, Catalino, we're getting ready to check back in. Well rested off the bench, so this should be one final push. He's looking at his coaches right now, asking who he will come in for. Taking so a look at this drive. Oh, he didn't drop pass. Good block there. Uh, Ah, oh, could have been a foul though, but none called. Okay, this is a good substitution though, as uh, Doramal will get a chance for a final breather before checking back in. Catalino is back on the floor. Tassi! <laughs> Lead is six. Yes. You, you wonder if uh, Coach Troy Sarabia will put Solomon or Salva back in probably in the last couple of minutes yeah because it, right now it's uh, oh. Lapore orchestrating the offense for Troy Sarabia now they have Heralde on the post and two free throws for Heralde so West Negros looking to attack the post where they have the advantage on every possession First free throw is good for Prisley Heralde. Under five minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. This is for the Visayas Regional Championship. Two for two. Prisley Heralde cutting this lead to just four. West Negros now looking to press. And now the pressure is being felt by the Wildcats somehow they get it across 
Almost an eight second violation. Passy for three. Wow. Unbelievable. Plus the foul on Catalino. Big basket there on the part of Tassi. The last five points coming from Christopher Tassi, the team captain of the University of Iloilo Wildcats. Clearly a foul, a slap on the arm by Rasmar Catalino. Well, the captain is coming up big for the Wildcats here in the fourth. Yep, good decision also on the part of Parba. Drawing Lapore to help on defense so that Tassi was wide open. Nothing that Catalino could do. 13 foul. points now for Christopher Tassi who had 20 points in the semifinals. So, so the lead is 8. Yeah. Just like that. A rare 4 point play. Coming at a very important stage here in West Negros. And now Iloilo will look to set. Jumper too strong. Offensive rebound. That's a foul. Miss block out there on the part of the white shirts. So the effort is there on the part of the yellow shirts. The yellow shirts off to it. When off, started off this game very weak, led uh, trailed by more than double digits, mm -hmm. by double digits, excuse me. Twelve points for Aladdin Tayata, make that thirteen after that free throw. And now Solomon getting ready to check back in. So the starting point guard of West Negros, he'll probably close out the ball game. You were wondering about uh, whether the veteran point guards would come in yep. for West Negros. Sarabia is back on the floor. Excuse me, Solomon is back on the floor. And immediately, turnover there on the part of Solomon. So pulled off the bench, facing the pressure defense of the Wildcats. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the biggest lead yeah, it is. that uh, the Wildcats have erected here in this ball game because the previous biggest lead was 9 70 to 61 Tassi good, good spacing here for the Wildcats Tassi kicks it out baseline drive oh a little bit too fast for their own good so this is a very important timeout now for head coach Troy Sarabia and West Negros University they are down by 10 That is the old bell tower, part of the Cathedral of St. Catherine of Alexandria, one of the must-see spots here in Dumaguete City. Three minutes and 30 seconds remains here in this finals match between West Negros University and the University of Iloilo. This is the PCCL Visayas Islands finals. Anton Rojas alongside Marco Benitez, and it has been such an enjoyable trip for us here in Dumaguete in our short stay. Of course, we would like to thank Joe Girit, everybody who accommodated us, especially Mr. Girit, who has been very friendly in offering his assistance. And not only ha ha have they been very hospitable, we've been treated to excellent Visayan brand of basketball. Veloso trying to come alive. A oh, good move underneath. And now the crowd coming alive a little bit. Catalino finally making his presence felt once more. And a 4 to nothing run for the Mustangs. The West Negros University Mustangs are not going down without a fight in this battle to become the representatives of the Visayas region 
Rasmar Catalino not giving up 4 to nothing run by the Mustangs. Let's see what the Wildcats do coming off a timeout. Out of bounds, it will stay with the Wildcats. Press break there being employed by the Wildcats, but uh, ball being tapped away. And again, we would like to extend our deepest thanks to Mr. Joe Girit, the city sports consultant who is in charge of the PCCL tournament here in Dumaguete. This is the first time ABS-CBN Sports is covering the PCCL here in this city. Oh, and Geralde giving the white shirts second chance opportunity. He's going to go to the free throw line. Crowd really getting into it. Crowd loves the underdog. Mm -hmm. And although the Mustangs started the game on top leading big, they have become the underdogs. Trying to come back here in the fourth quarter. Geralde would have been his 11th point. 10 points already in the ball game. Looking at the bench of West Negros University. Of course with head coach Troy Sarabia. Other members of his coaching staff, Jobert Pastias and Bernard Suante. And still no return from the big man, Errol Dormal. But they're doing well without him yeah. here. 1-2-1-1 one, one, one now from West Negros. And that's a steal. Geralde, oh, hard foul. He will head back to the free throw line. West Negro showing us that they have also what it takes to press. And then Geralde showing us his versatility that time. Third line of defense on the press. Able to get the interception. And again, head coach Pisuena calling out his troops to the side. Talking strategy as Geralde knocks down the first free throw. So it is now a 6 to nothing run for West Negros University here in the Visayas Islands Championship. Because of the free throws allows West Negros to put points on the board with the clock stopped. And again another chance at the basket. Crucial possession here for the Mustangs, Geralde. Oh, that's a foul. And again, Geralde will head back to the free throw line for the third straight time. He has been the spark. But you know, the defense was focused on Catalino posting up. And that is why the free throw line area was wide open for Geralde to receive the pass. And the leading scorer, Christopher Tassi, has just fouled out. So, coming in, in the place of Tassi is Froilan Bernaldez who had a pretty good ball game so far. Heraldic continuing to miss his free throw so wasted opportunities for West Negros. Heraldez now two for five in his last three trips to the line. So 50% after that shot, three out of six. Here's the press. It's a seven to nothing run for the Mustangs. Nashong Gayao experiencing some trouble. Wildcats have the numbers. Oh, a rejection there. Wildcats get it back. Farba, wide open jumper. Does not fall. And another foul. And that means free throws for West Negros University. And you know, the advantage that West Negros had, which we said earlier, their front line coming into four here in the last two and a half minutes of play. Errol Doromal looking on. I'm sure kating kating na yan para makabalik. <laughs> but yeah. you, know, you know, one of the reasons why Doromal, I believe, is on the bench is because with him on the floor, um, they might not be as fast as the lineup that they have right now and they, they are employing a 1-2-1-1 full court press. So Coach Troy Sarabia opting with a quicker lineup on the floor. It is now an 8 to nothing run for West Negros University. 17 points make that 18 for Rasmar Catalino. Now just a one point lead 
for the Wildcats. The crowd has come alive here in Dumaguete City. Double team. They release the basketball. Parba bounce pass underneath. No foul called. Offensive rebound for Froilan Bernaldez. It is back to a three-point lead for the University of Iloilo Wildcats. Great press break there on the part of the Wildcats. Bernaldez not giving up on the play. Chance of defense now at the post. Triple team off the glass. Count the basket for Rasmar Catalino now with 20 big points. Bread and butter play of West Negros. Mustangs post play from Catalino. Let's take a look at this pass. Getting it to Aladdin Dayata. Look at the rejection. But Froilan was there for the putback. But look at look at the leg of Rasmar Catalino. He knocks down the free throw also. So he completes the th the three-point play. And that's gonna be a foul, but West Negros not yet in the penalty. 124 left. Iluilo already in the penalty. And we are tied at 82 all. Catalino has just surpassed the 20 point output in the semifinals by Christopher Tassi. Or Rasmar Catalino, the man of the moment here for West Negros University. Tassi, team captain of the Wildcats, has already fouled out. It is a steal. Solomon all the way. And West Negros University is back on top. Coach Jay Pisuenya calls for time. What a comeback. What a run by West Negros University. A 14 to 2 run. Capped off by that fast break layup by Ren Solomon to give West Negros University an 84 to 82 lead with a minute and two seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter of the BCCL Visayas Islands Finals. Great change up on the, on the defensive end there on the part of Coach Troy Sarabia now showing previously showed a 2-3 zone and that, that's what led to that steal there for Cabanag. University of Iloilo was up 80 to 70. And then slowly but surely, West Negros University clawed their way back into this ball game, eventually taking the lead now with Christopher Tassi on the bench. Let's see who will step up for the Wildcats. Barba thought about the three, decides to take one! Three, Big shot there on the part of Barba, creating enough space and enough separation from Solomon. Ramar Barba, who hit a buzzer-beating three-point shot to end the third, has just hit another clutch basket. Crucial possession here for West Negros University. Solomon kicks it out. Oh, hard drive! Cabana and Jeremy Cabana scores in the clutch. Now it's uh, Coach J.P. Suenio's turn to call a timeout. We'll be back for the conclusion of this exciting ball game. Romar Parba knocking down a clutch three-point basket to give Iloilo an 85-84 to 84 lead. But on the other end, Jeremer Cabana floating this ball up. It trickles in to give his squad a one-point lead, 86-85. to 85. Going to boil down to who is able to make that last stop or execute on offense. Romar Parba already with 18 points in the ball game. Well, let's see who will come up big, who will step up, who wants this basketball for the University of Iloilo Wildcats. 
It is a baseline drive. Ball goes out. Loaded on the way. It is good for Obaredes. Obaredes showing enough composure. Get that basket on the baseline. Got that new floater. Anton went up, went with the fake jab step, drove baseline, and hit the floater calmly over the outstretched hands of a West Negros defender. What a seesaw battle between these two squads. Let's watch it one more time. Emilio Obaredes driving baseline over the outstretched arm of Rasmor Catalino. Another angle. 15 points for the backup center, Emilio Obaredes. This is head coach Troy Sarabia drawing up the final play with 21.4 seconds remaining here. The question here, Antonio, is, is do you go for a quick shot and uh, give University of Iloilo another chance at the basket or do you make or dwindle the clock down and then take the last attempt at the basket so that uh, may probably shoot it with around 5 seconds so that you still have another crack at the second chance or a put back and uh, not allow University of Iloilo another chance to set up a play. What a way to start this year's Philippine Collegiate Champions League. We are going down the wire, baby, here in our first finals match for the Visayas Islands Championship. Taking the ball out will be Jeremer Cabanag, the last player to score for West Negros University. Crucial here is the inbound. Ren Solomon gets to it. JV Veloso also on the floor, along with Geralde and Catalino. Jeremer Cabanag has it. It's a clear out. Cabanag off the glass and in. Jeremer Cabanag to the rescue. Still have enough time for another crack at the basket. Seven seconds. Aladdin Dayata loses it. It is a steal by Red Solomon. What a crucial turnover by the Wildcats. Solomon now sent to the free throw line for two free throws. But look at this drive. It was a clear out for Jeremer Cabana. The top swingman coming off the bench, kissing it off the glass. 20 points for Jeremer Cabana, who had 13 points in the semifinals. And he's shown us all evening long, Anton, that he has the ability to hit that pull up jumper. First free throw does not fall for Ren Solomon. So there's still a chance here for a miracle heave for the Wildcats. If you're Solomon, do you make it? Make the second free throw or intentionally miss it so that they have no opportunity or you have the scramble to wind down the clock? Can West Negros University complete their comeback? They were down by 10 late here in the fourth 80 to 70. second free throw for the starting point guard Ren Solomon on the way he knocks it in Aladdin Dayata it is intercepted it is time to go home it is over West Negros University escapes with an emotional win against the University of Iloilo 89 to 87. Great character win here on the part of West Negros University not bucking bucking down despite a ten, as, as big as a 10 point lead in the fourth quarter by University of Iloilo Wildcats. They kept at their strength, went down to the post, got to the free throw line, got second chance opportunities, made a run when they had to and made some stops and made some big shots when they needed to and the big time players coming up big for head coach Troy Sarabia starting power forward Rasmor Catalino with a game high 21 points and the hero Jeremer Cabanag with a game winning shot off the glass not to mention you also have to give credit to Geralde 
who got a lot of offensive oh, yeah. rebounds, second chance opportunities, got sent to the line several times when University of Iloilo was threatening to pull away. And Doromal, of course, creating a lot of space, a lot of havoc inside the paint. So congratulations to head coach Troy Sarabia and the West Negros University Mustangs. They are the new BCCL Visayas Islands champions. And they will move on to the next stage of the tournament, Marco. And you know, hats off also to Coach Jay Pesuena and the University of Iloilo Wildcats showing us a great quality ball game, showing us that they have the athleticism, they have the discipline, they have the character to really contend in a championship game, but just came up short in the end. So once again, congratulations to the West Negros University Mustangs. They are the champions of the Visayas Islands Tournaments. On behalf of Direk Abit Ramos, Marco Benitez, and everybody who make up ABS CBN Sports, I'm Anton Ross saying thank you so much for joining us as we search for the one true National Collegiate Basketball Champion in the 2012 Philippine Collegiate Champions League.